In this video, we are going to discuss about purchase dashboard in order 14. So it is a very new feature where we can see dashboard inside the purchase module. So if you open this, before this RFQs and purchase orders, you can see a different view where there is shown all RFQs then my RFQs. That means if uh, here we have login as Michelin admin. So Michelin admin's RFQs and can be seen and which has different states that is for these all RFQs and my RFQs you can see uh, that is to send waiting and late. So RFQs in these three states can be viewed. Uh, so whenever there is an RFQ to be sent that is when we create an RFQ which is not sent it will be shown here and those in waiting and late so after that uh, you can see average order value total average order value amount can be seen here then purchased last seven days so total purchased last seven days then RFQ sent last seven days. So number of count of RFQs that is sent last seven days. Then lead time to purchase. So that average all that thing also can be seen here in days. So these are the details that is shown here, which is which can be used to manage our purchase orders. And we can view all the overall, we can get an overall idea of the purchase orders. We can manage these details. So let us see what all changes will be created first of all let us create a request for quotation then let us just save this so i have just created a request for quotation i have been sent it so when we come back you can see all of under all of queues that is to be sent there is an rfq that need to be sent Let me choose that and send by email. When we come back, you can see that is reduced to 8 itself. Then this late has been changed. So this is how this dashboard values are changed. Then we can see RFQs sent last 7 days. So the count has been changed. And RFQ, uh, of course, the average order value will be also, also will be changed. And we also know that there are different views for our purchase. That is already there, different views. So that's all about dashboard in purchase module. If you are interested in knowing more about this, or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.